These notes are on graphing absolute value quadratic functions. Um, and there are several ways that we can graph them. Uh, we can be given the absolute value function or we can be given the piecewise. So um, I'm going to graph it and then write the piecewise because in this case we're given the absolute value function. So um, I think that for many, many students the easiest way to do this problem is to start by graphing this parabola as if there is no absolute value around it. So that's what I'm going to do. My vertex is at 2, negative 4, and I have my a is 1, so over 1, up 1, over 1, up 3, over 1, up 5. Mirror image it, and connect it. Uh, my parabola is a little wonky on this side. Let's see if I can fix that just a little bit. There we go, that looks a little bit better. Now I have to worry about the absolute value piece of this. So remember, absolute value means distance from zero. And we only ever talk about distance in terms of positives. You don't say to your friend, go negative five feet. You say to your friend, go five feet to the, your left, your right, forwards, backwards, um, but we don't use negatives. Um, so what I have to do is I have to take the portion of this graph that is negative and flip it. And so the portion that is negative, when we're talking about the negative, we're talking about the y values. So I'm looking for the portion of the graph where the y values are negative, and that's all down here. So I need to take everything that's under my hand and make it positive. So um, this positive 1, negative 3 becomes positive 1, positive 3. The positive 2, negative 4 becomes positive 2, positive 4, and the positive Four, sorry, positive three, negative three becomes positive three, positive three. And then I connect. You then have two options. You can erase the bottom. That is a perfectly legal option. You can also highlight. Um, I am going to highlight um, because I think I found that many students enjoyed the highlighting method the best. Um, but again, check with your teacher. If they would rather you erase, um, please make sure that that's the method you use um, in order to graph the function. So now I need to do the piecewise. So I have f of x equals, and the piecewise here, there's three pieces. There's a piece out here to the very left, there's a piece in the middle, and there's a piece to the very right. The thing is, is that all three of these pieces are the same parabola. They just have, they, they're facing different ways. So the first piece, way to the left, is exactly the parabola as it is given. I didn't change that piece when I graphed it. Neither did I change the um, right-hand piece. So my last piece is the parabola exactly as given. But I did change what is different from the original pencil to my highlighted version is the middle piece. What I did is I flipped the parabola. I made it from going to being an up parabola to a down facing parabola. I changed the A. And I changed the A by just making the A negative. Changed its sign. So I now have all three pieces, and so now I need to pay attention to my subdomains. My subdomains happen here at 0 and at 4. So for my first piece, I'm coming from negative infinity and going to zero. For my middle piece, I'm going from zero to four. And for my right-hand piece, I'm going from four to positive infinity. Remember, um, I could have used parentheses here and brackets here, parentheses here, brackets here. I could use any combination as long as um, here and here don't have the same. They're different, and here and here are different also. And then, of course, I also could have used set notation. Whoops, typo there. X is greater than 4. A second way you'll see these problems presented to you is when they give it to you as a piecewise and they ask you to graph it um, and write the absolute value. So um, I often find writing the absolute value in these cases to be 
the easiest. So I'm going to start there. So absolute value of f of x equals. Um, and then a quick check here. Uh, my vertex is already there, so I'm going to write that portion in x plus 3 squared minus 1. Um, and I then need to make sure whether or not my um, that my, the portions here. So just to make sure that um, I have a positive parabola when I'm to the way to the left, a positive way to the right. So my a is a positive one. Now I graph this parabola. Um, I have my vertex at negative three, negative one. Um, the a value is one, so over one, up one, over one, up. 3 over 1 up 5, put the mirror image in, connect the dots, and then lastly take care of the absolute value piece, which means that I need to have anything that's a negative y becomes a positive y, so I flip it up. And I graph that. In this case, instead of highlighting, I'm going to erase just so you can see the other way of doing this. Um, please note that right here that this is a sharp V shape there. It's not a curve. It's not a W. Um, sorry, it's like a curvy W in some ways. It's got this happening, and then it curves, and then it goes straight again. Um, so make sure you have those uh, points where it hits the X axis as um, a sharp turn, not a curved turn.